What's up everybody? It's Easy, Easy Street Gaming. Today we have a, a, a special treat for everybody. Got every single attack in the video coming from the same player. Special treat for us, for him. This is all from V. And I have a 99% ch chance of saying his name wrong. But we're going to say it's Viabiv. Viabiv. I don't even know if that's real. Because it looks too cool. It's, it's spelled almost the same backwards and forwards. This, this is a compilation from two different wars and before we get into the actual attacks well, Let's go back in time and tell you about V. He's been in the clan for a long time One of the very first subscribers on the channel one of our biggest supporters a, a, a huge asset to the clan and a, a Personally means a lot to me that he's been involved in that that he's part of the clan So I, I'm just I feel really privileged to have him uh, really lucky and I'm just more than happy to, to put out a video like this with, with that specializes all in him in the meantime he's come into his own and has has developed this unbelievably strong attack it's not it's not anything you know new or or totally unique a lot of people do it but it's hard to do it as well as him uh, <laughs> that being said First attack he did. I wanted to show this first attack. This is the Agola Loom, and and what it is is you start off with a kill squad of go golems, wizards, a jump spell, and you bring the golems and wizards to jump, and you go in and t the goal is to take out two of the air defenses, take out the queen, which I just I just enlarged the screen. The, there's the queen right there, teeing off on all of his balloons. So you want to take out two air defenses, take out the queen, take out the clan castle troops. Now in this particular one, he was not able to take care of the queen. So what happens is, as the balloons go and clean out the entire base, the queen starts, like I said earlier, teeing off on the balloons, wipes out all the balloons, and now is going to wipe out anything that comes near her. There's not, there's not enough troops left in the attack to overpower her. As the, as the minis come at her, or as the lava pups come at her, she's just going to take care of them one at a time. Easily take care of everything else. So, this is the only fail that he had done. Uh, not necessarily a bad attack at all. It, it just was, a, you know, sometimes it's a combination of uh, a little carelessness in the planning and a little bit of bad luck. These attacks are made to take care of the queen in mid-attack. The, the way this attack is designed is the kill squad is usually is usually put in a part of the base that's going to take care of the queen a lot of times she will survive it so then you'll start attacking with the lava hounds and as soon as one of the lava hound pups pop you put the rage spell on top of them and then the lava pups will take care of the queen it just so happens that she survived all these different uh, all these different phases of the attack and because of that at the end of the attack she was able to take out all the balloons and then just take care of everything else so that's what you have to be careful of now this next attack, same attack strategy, a little more difficult base, and starting off with the same things. You're gonna start off with a couple golems, start off with the wizards, clan council troops come out, drop a poison spell on them, drop a rage spell to help amp up the the heroes and help amp up the wizards. Clan council troops go down, and now you have a golem in there taking a bunch of fire from all the all the Teslas in the middle. The queen is, uh, she is taken out. I think she's already taken out one air defense. Uh, right now, the, go the the golems on the second air defense just took it out with the death damage. Now he's going to bring in three lava hounds, one in the clan castle, and two of, as part of his army comp, and a whole bunch of balloons. And and let me tell you, if you achieve your uh, if you achieve your initial goals with the kill squad of the two air defenses, the queen and the clan castle troops. Three lava hounds and 15 to, to 18 balloons is more than enough. Now, he doesn't bring a lot of minions, he brings just a couple, just because of the the, uh, the amount of damage his kill squad does, so he doesn't really need a lot of minions in the back end. But he does bring a, uh, a minion or two, he also holds off on a wizard, and he just uses those to put them in key locations to make sure that if the balloons group up, because sometimes you can have a great attack, but the balloons will all group up and they'll end up taking out one building at a time, and because they're kind of slow moving uh, troops, you may not be able to get through the whole base. You, you wipe out all the defenses, and then by the time you're done with it, you have a minute or a minute and a half for to take out maybe, let's say, 15 buildings, but they're stretched out everywhere, and the balloons all group up, and they go up one at a time, and you 99% because of that. 
So he likes to he'll, he'll hold on to a troop or two just to make sure that if there's something way of an obscure Building off out in the corner somewhere he can put that that troop on that one building and make sure you, you, you don't 99% because of that So another attack same attack strategy. This is all the same attack strategy um, All the bases it's an assortment of different level bases that he's attacked the max bases uh, Not you know not maxed. It's just whatever he's tasked with in the particular wars these are all these were all pretty big attacks in war uh, We've been doing a lot of smaller smaller wars When you do smaller wars the organization of the wars are a lot easier. It, it, it doesn't have to be quite as much um, uh, This doesn't have to be quite as much of The leader passing down. Okay, this is what we should do. There's not as much I, I want to say organization I just I'm kind of tongue-tied. Wow. I'm a lot tongue-tied Lost for words on exactly what I'm trying to say here Because um, a lot a lot of times let's say for example, we do a 50 50 war. We use clash caller We'll start with a game plan and it may have a may we may impose a drop down We may impose a, a number of different rules But when you're doing a 15 on 15 or 20 on 20 you have a lot more freedom to let the guys do Do what they want to do pick the bases they want to pick But at the same time the individuals have a lot more responsibility to, to make sure that they take out the bases yeah, that, and that's what we have done in these past couple wars, which he had done an excellent job. He, I think he had, in the last four wars, we have two or three six-packs, and at least a three-star in every war. So, some, you know, there, there are a lot of players out there that do better when you tell them what bases to attack. It takes the pressure of them second-guessing themselves. A lot of players will, will think that they're being greedy by attacking, you know, maybe a, a few, a few uh, bases above them. Uh, se several players may think that they're they're not being smart by t attacking way down lower. So when you say, "Okay, I need you to take this base," it takes all that guesswork out, and they can concentrate more on the attack. So that's maybe something for the leaders out there to think about when they're assigning bases or or not or decide not to assign bases. Uh, there there are ups and downs for assigning the bases. Now in this case, we weren't assigning bases, and this is fit in V's. Uh, this is played right in his hands and he was able to pick the bases that he wanted to He was able to pick the bases that had the air defenses in areas that he wanted them to be in You notice that most of the bases that he's attacking He'll put a jump spell in between two air defenses jump the the kill squad in between the two air defenses and try to take out The air defense on the left and the right before he puts in the air portion which which is the three lava hounds and the balloons and I believe in every one of these replays he was able to take out both air defenses and the clan castle troops with the kill squad didn't always get the queen and you know smart defenders will separate Well, will, they'll separate the queen. They'll separate uh, They'll separate the the clan castle sometimes, you know There's all kinds of different tricks that you can use to try to separate this stuff to make it more difficult for the kill squad to achieve three goals with just the kill squad I mean as well as some of these bases are designed if your base if you if you are allowing a player to bring a kill squad in, take out two air defenses and your queen and the kill squad, then I would say that you might want to look at your base and redesign it to where they can't take out all three with their kill squad because you you're you can get three starred with a Laloon if you let them do that. And this is at any level. This is Town Hall 8, 9, 10, 11. If you if they take out two air defenses and your kill and your clan cast troops and your queen, they there's nothing stopping them with the Laloon. I don't know when I start drinking coffee all day. It sucks getting old, people. Okay, this last attack in this in this replay right here. This is a pretty common base. This is actually uh, a, a version of uh, of one of Jake's bases. I remember he had this base up a long time ago, and this base right here has a big pocket going around the in inside of the base, which forces the ground troops to go around in a circle. It won't they won't go into the middle, even if you put a jump spell in. So it's kind of difficult, but using the air troops is a little more. It's a little different because they're the walls. You know, the walls don't exist to them. So he comes in again with the kill squad from the bottom, takes out both air defenses in the bottom. Now he's coming up top, and he's bringing in three separate sets, three different groups of troops. He brings in uh, a lava hound and uh, several balloons, and he brings in a second lava hound and several balloons, and he brings in a third lava hound from the top and several balloons. And I believe in this attack here, one or two of the lava hounds live. And I wanted to touch base on that briefly too. You know, the Laloon is, is a unique attack 
because the Lava Hounds are two stage troops. The first stage are these really tough, really hard to kill Lava Hounds. And once all of their hit points are depleted, they pop. And once they pop, they turn into these Lava Pups. Well, you want them all to pop. That is part of the goal of the attack, is to time, is to time your attack in a way that the Lava Hounds stay on top of the air defenses for long enough for the air defense to pop the Lava Pup. But you want to do it in a way to where the balloons are there right after it pops and basically drops on, the, on that air defense the second the Lava Hound pops. So, air defense pops the, pops the Lava Hound, all the pups are there now in a big circle. And then the balloons come in, kill the air defense, and then, they move, and then the balloons will move on to the next defense and the pups are left behind to clean up all the other trash buildings. And then, you're, and then you just basically repeat as you go. So, there's not a lot of other attacks out there where you actually want your main troop, which is the Lava Hound, to, to get to the second stage to pop. Because, you know, golems, they'll, they'll, they'll break, I guess, into two. And you really don't want that. You want them to stay whole. Because, it, you know, once they break, they, they're susceptible to the spring traps or whatever else. So, unique attack. It takes a lot of practice. Uh, V's got it down. Hats off to him. Uh... Hopefully we'll have more to come from this player because he is Town Hall 9 getting ready to go to Town Hall 10 pretty soon Just a phenomenal 9. I, I can't see him getting any worse as a 10. So great job to V And uh, for those of you watching still at the end, I appreciate all of you if you haven't subbed to the channel yet We are we've been kind of hovering at 80 subs now. It's the fourth month of the channel. We're at 80 subs I was I, we're, we're, our goal is to get a thousand the first year so, a little behind schedule, but I think we can still do it. So, for those of you that have subbed, I do appreciate you. Till next time, this has been easy. Take care, everybody.